Good morning. It's uh, 43 minutes in, seven and a half k's in to my Saturday run. It's probably about six o'clock in the morning. The sun's just starting to come up. Um, run feeling good today. This is only my third run for the week. I had hoped to run a little bit more, but um, yeah, a bit of leg soreness got in the way. That's okay. Just trying to increase gradually and get get a bit more, a bit more each week. So with a bit of luck, I'll be able to push out 15 k's tomorrow. Um, pretty happy that I've managed to, you know, maintain this sort of pace. Hip feels really good. The key will be how it pulls up later on because I just don't know how it's going to go. Um, yeah, feeling all right. Now I've just got to go back, do my strength work. Alright guys, I'll see you at home. Okay, so I'm back home. Just going to do my incredibly simple strength routine that I find helps, helps uh, fix my hip. So, need a resistance band for the first one. Just pop you down there. Yeah, alright dog. Resistance band on. Feet, feet slightly turned out, knees bent, and just walking, sidestepping. is to strengthen the glute muscles and you can really feel it after even one minute just going back and forth a couple of times how, uh, how targeted that is and how you can feel it right in the hips there all right time for the next next uh, exercise so next exercise you need some sort of step forward so bending the legs slightly, one foot off, and then just raising. The whole point of this one is to keep the hips steady and just push through that glute. Not trying to lift it up too high, not trying to bring it down too fast. Okay, so two, two aims here. One, work this muscle to lift that one up, but also to get this leg stabilised. <laughs> simple really effective I find it just loosens the hip up it's helping to strengthen the glutes as well and hopefully it'll stop the problem in the future all right see you guys tomorrow morning it's Sunday um, I've just driven down to the Esplanade and I'm about to go for a run unfortunately I made the silly choice to sleep in again um, because it was raining and thought oh yeah the rain's sticking around should be nice and cool all day I'll be able to go for a run a bit later the sun's just come out and it's now stinking hot. Just my luck. Um, so I'm gonna aim for about 15 k's today. We'll see how that goes. Um, the rain will probably stay away, knowing my luck, until I am a dying mess on the ground. And then it'll probably gently start raining. Anyway, let's see how this goes. So we just over a k in. Sitting on 525 pace, things feel good. It's a beautiful spot for a run this month. Right. Let's bust it out, 14 case to go. So we are 
4 k's in. Still can't seem to slow down, still sitting on 520 pace. Things are feeling okay. A little bit of pain in the hip, but the surrounding muscles have warmed up, so it's all feeling pretty good. Just running through the uh, Horton Industrial area, which is lovely. Beautiful sights. But uh, if I go through this bit, this then connects up with a really nice path along the creek. So, uh, yeah. We'll just run along for a bit, and then we'll get a nicer path and a nicer view. Okay, we found the path. Beautiful views. Um, managed to dial the pace back a bit too, which is nice. It's a 522 per k. I'm going to jump on this path here and follow it the whole way along. Then uh, connect up with the Esplanade path at the end. Five and a half k's in, feeling good. Hopefully this holds out for another 10 k's. Woo. See you soon. Okay, just under 7 k's in, again still feeling good, um, the only problem is with running through this area, you don't get a huge amount of breeze, so things are a little, starting to get a little warm, a little sticky, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera away for a bit and uh, talk to you again when there's something more interesting going on. Hey, Kazin, need a drink. God, that's hot. Sun at the back. Just trying to get it done. Coming into one of my favourite sections of, uh, of path here in Cairns. Just at the uh, Centenary Lakes. It's a beautiful little section of dirt. One of our only sections of dirt in town. And um, yeah, a nice bold walk. But, This is the only frustrating part about living in Cairns. It's a beautiful spot. We get such good weather. You can do whatever you want outside any time of the year, no matter what. So I love it. I love being here. Um, the, the big thing is, we haven't got any dirt. We haven't got any dirt parts because the minute you get monsoon or rains, they all wash away. So, it's the reason why that when you're trying to do the volume that I'm doing, you just end up hurting. Like that little patch of dirt there. My hip felt awesome going through there. A little bit less impact. A little bit more uh, variability in the surface. Means that the glute's switching on a bit more. Whereas, running on this, as soon as you get back on it, it starts hurting again. And we just don't have enough because I can't do 17,000 repeats to get a 10k run. The nearest dirt roads are half an hour away. I just don't have that opportunity to drive there. I don't know. Gotta see what I can do. See what changes I can make to my routines to try and get that happening. So I'm hurting myself a little bit less. I'm running out of breath now. I'm just gonna keep jogging. Oh. 
and we're here on the most hated section of the Cairns Iron Man course. Oh, I'm loving it today though. Beautiful breeze whipping through here. There's a bit of cloud cover. Oh, needed that breeze. Right. We've got four k's to go. Follow me along. I'll talk to you in the car about how I'm See you soon. That was hard. That was, that was a hard run in the end. Fourteen point six three k's. Uh, I'm five forty three per kilometre. It's annoying me how much fitness I've lost in the short time. Not much you can do about it. I'm just going to try and build it back up now. According to Strava, this week up to 34.5 k's, 34.6 k's actually. Um, only 53 metres of elevation, which is completely different to normal, but that's okay. Again, it allows me to get through it. So it's, last week was 27 k's. So I've upped it a fair bit. Uh, hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. Um, next week I'll aim to get up around that 40 mark um, and then go from there. Um, traveling next weekend down to Victoria so hopefully that goes okay and yeah I can get out get a few runs done and yeah just just increase gently um, so the plan from here on in we've got four weeks left um, next three weeks I'll try and increase incrementally try and get up as close to 70 k's as possible in that third week um, but I'm not gonna push it too hard I'm gonna do, do what I did today just you know run to what I've planned and take it easy and then um yeah have a have a taper week and then hopefully be able to pull the marathon out on the 24th hip feels okay um it'll be the test to see how it goes this afternoon after i've sort of cooled down and i've sat around for a bit um and slept on it tonight but yeah hopefully back out tomorrow morning and away we go all right thanks for watching if you enjoyed the video make sure you click like um, otherwise, I'll see you next time. See you guys.